Hello everyone, this is Meshko here. Today we're gonna be figuring out what i root of negative one is. Everybody knows that square root of negative one is i, but what about this? Before we start, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, and share. Now let's get started. First of all, let's enter into the complex word. On the Cartesian plane, on the x axis, we have the real values so let's represent it by r then on the y axis we have the imaginary numbers let's represent it by i now let's assume that the distance from origin to this point is a then the distance from the origin to this point is b so what it means is that if we have a point here the distance from this point to this point is also b so the distance from this point all the way to this point is going to be a plus b i likewise we can represent this on a polar coordinate if we have our cartesian plane just like this and then the distance from the origin to this point is a the distance from the origin to this point is b and of course we are in the complex world so this will be the real part and then this part will be the imaginary part now the distance from this point to this point like we know earlier is going to be b then let's assume that the distance from the origin all the way to this point is r then the angle over here is let's call it theta what it means is that this b over here is going to be r times e to the power i theta. Then as soon as we have this one here, we have to make use of Euler's formula, which is e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. That is the Euler's formula. Now we have negative 1 over here. So on a Cartesian plane, negative 1 will be somewhere here. Now the distance from the origin to this point, because we are talking about distance, it will be positive. So let's call it r to be equal to 1 over here. Now at this point, if we move in this direction all the way to this point, then we can find theta which is equal to pi, that is 180 degrees. If we continue the rotation all the way to this point, then it means that theta is going to be 2 pi. Likewise, if we continue the journey all the way back to this point, then theta is going to be 4 pi. So in either ways, we are going to be having different values for theta. So we can write the general value for theta. In this case, theta will be equal to pi plus 2n pi, where n is an integer. Great. So from here, we're going to have negative 1 is equal to r times e to the power i theta. Now we know that r is equal to 1 over here, so we have negative 1 is equal to 1 times e to the power i theta. And we also know that theta is equal to this, so we will have negative 1 is equal to e to the power i times pi plus 2n pi. So in place of negative 1 in the problem, we're going to put this one so we're gonna have the i root of negative one which could also be written as negative one or to the power one over i is equal to now negative one here is equal to this so we're gonna have e to the power i times pi plus 2n pi then all to the power 1 divided by i. So we know from indices that if we have a to the power m or to the power n, this is the same as a to the power m times n. So we can multiply the whole of this one 
by this and if we do that you can see that this i and then this one will go and we are left with e to the power pi plus 2n pi where n is an integer so we can have infinitely many solutions to the problem for example given the n values let's say n which is an integer to be let's say negative 1 0 1 2 then if you plug that into this expression over here the value is going to be when it is negative 1 we're gonna have e to the power negative pi if it is 0 we're gonna have e to the power pi if it is 1 we're gonna have e to the power 3 pi if it is 2 we're gonna have e to the power 5 pi and it keeps on going just like that when given the end values so guys this is pretty much it i hope you found the video useful please give it a like subscribe comment and share thanks a lot for watching have a nice day and see you again on the next video take care bye bye